Okay, here we are, video number three, and this is our final way of solving quadratics, and this is called the quadratic formula. It works for every single quadratic that exists, but it's not always the most straightforward, and it's my last method of that I choose. So, but it's still important because it is a good method. So here's quadratic formula, and so I'm going to solve this by quadratic formula. And so just remember the quadratic formula is equal to minus b minus b plus or minus square root plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac b squared minus 4ac all over 2a all over 2a. That catchy tune you probably remember from the past. And so when we do this, we know that a is the leading coefficient because quadratics are written ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is 2, b equals negative 5, and c equals negative 3. So using the quadratic formula, we're going to plug it in. It's negative, b is negative 5. Be careful of the double negative. Plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared. Put it in parentheses because you don't want to drop the negative by accident. 4, a is 2, c is minus 3. And that is all over 2 times 2. Okay, so now from that, if we consider this, we're going to start to simplify. I get positive 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. This is 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. And there's two negatives, so it ends up being a positive value divided by 4. Continuing to simplify in the square root first, because we do this first, that's going to be 49 over 4. Well, I like 49 because 49 square rooted is exactly 7 over 4. So now I get two answers. I get 5 plus 7 over 4, and I get 5 minus 7 over 4. That's 12 over 4, which, over 4, which is 3, or I get negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. And so using quadratic formula, we can get our answers as well. We just have to simplify it. Make sure you don't make careless mistakes with the negatives. That is a common problem with those negatives. And that is by quadratic formula.